Hey guys, on today's podcast, I'm going to interview member number two of SmokerBuilder.com. That's right, you guessed it, Tom Heath. Anyway, stay tuned. You're listening to the Pitmaster Secrets Podcast. Hey guys, yep, that's right, that was Tom, member number two of SmokerBuilder.com. Overall, everything that SmokerBuilder stands for, Tom is been an instrumental part of everything we do and on top of that he owns it so anyway i just wanted to uh get him on the podcast here today and kind of let him tell his side of the story um so anyway how are you tom i'm great how are you doing wonderful i'm excited that you're here so what i did you don't know this (laughs) (laughs) but i reached out to members of the community and i asked a few of them to hop pop in some questions here about just you know, some of the things they always wonder about. So, uh, first off, what questions do you think I'm going to ask? <laughs> oh, man, I, I have no clue. I'm a little bit scared, but uh, we'll just go with it and see what happens. Right on. So, here's here's the first thing. This this is actually a really well-thought-out question. Um, it comes from a brother, A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron knows who he is. Um, so, here you go. He wants to know what drives you to be a smoker builder. What drives me to be a smoker builder? Um, si- since he asked that question, and he is a smoker builder, I would have to say to live the dream. Right. That's, That's a good answer. Yeah, it's it's fun. You eat well. Well, most of the time we <laughs> eat, we eat very well. It's just a it's a fun, just a fun thing to do. You would you don't consider it work, right? I, I get up just as early as I used to. I go home probably sometimes later than I used to, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, thirty years of going to work, same place, same time every day. I come here. It's part mine. It's part Frank's. If we just decide we want to go fishing, we go fishing. Yep. So that just kind of ins- inspires it. Uh, we work our butts off. We enjoy the benefits. Yeah, and I would I would have to add to that, you know, that uh, it's it's what we do as a hobby anyway. <laughs> so right, how how can it how can it doesn't even feel like work? I would say most of the most of the time. There's sometimes when it feels pretty intense and it feels like work, like Sunday, <laughs> like Sunday, yeah, yeah, for you, for me, yeah. Cleaning that bathroom in there was insane, guys. You don't understand the level of bathroom we had downstairs. It was amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I would say it was. Oh my goodness! It was like a a nine point eight out yeah. of ten, maybe. Yeah. For those of you that are just now listening for the first time, we moved into a new shop building. That's why it was so intense. <laughs> All right. So here you go. Here's another one. You ready? Okay. So, I, this is a question that um, we'll probably wind up touching on in a future episode, but I gotta know. So I'm going to have to give some background story for the people listening first. But this question's for me. So back in the day, uh, we, Tom and I were very active on another barbecue forum, and that's actually where we ran across each other. And what happened is we would uh, get in there, and you know we didn't care about the food section or none of that stuff. There was this one little bitty category on that forum that said, build a smoker. And, uh, you know, it was just people in there asking questions and stuff like that and how to do it and bragging about what they're building. There wasn't really a whole lot of people in there that had, like, gospel fact evidence, but there was people in there that had information. And we chimed in. That's the part that we liked the best. And so I wound up uh, getting in touch with Tom through that barbecue forum a few years after we joined. And I said this. I said, hey, bud, you want to help me start a a smoker building forum? (laughs) So here's the question in light of that. Now, keep in mind, it was the first time we seen each other face to face when I asked him that question. We had pizza, right? Truth. So so here's here's the question. What was your first impression when I asked you if you wanted to help me start a smoker building forum, comma, it's actually two parts, and then you landed on the site that I built. <laughs> well, do you remember the first one? <laughs> I do. I, I do remember. Um, I think in response to the first part of the question, my my very first thought was, 
who in the world is going to go to a forum that has two members and no post? Right. <laughs> and and I, I think we talked about that. And uh, I think you said, we can overcome that. And... I did. <laughs> yep, yep. So it, uh, it it evolved. And we talked to each other a lot. Yeah, a lot at first. <laughs> On the forums. That's right. So what was your first impression of, of me uh, uh, as a whole with the whole idea of, like, this will last like 10 minutes? <laughs> no, actually, actually, I thought the forum would last. Um, when you sprung the question, man, I've been looking on the internet and nobody sells smoker plans. I want to sell smoker plans. My first thought to that was, yeah, that'll go big for about a year and the market <laughs> will be saturated and nobody else will buy plans. Yeah. And that was really honestly what I thought. Like who in the world would ever want to build a smoker anyway? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you there. And then, so as far as whenever you got on the site, I mean, the, the actual very first forum was just a WordPress version of BB forums, which was almost unusable. I mean, there was a few guys on there at one point, but it was pretty hard to use. I right. remember that. And then one day I was like, hey, man, I'm going to make this big board. And then I made the big board and wham, here we are. It wasn't quite that fast. It wasn't that fast. No, it was, it, was a, it was a baby wham. <laughs> yeah, baby wham. But anyway, that's interesting. I always wanted to ask that question, and I never – I figured maybe you thought I was some kind of a fool. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Okay, I got another question. You ready? Yep. This one's from uh, Rod Crafter. He, uh, he asked a question. He has many questions, but I'll save some <laughs> for later. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, here you go. You ready? How did you get involved with Smoker Builder? We kind of just talked about that a little bit, but go ahead and, uh, and just kind of tell me like after we had pizza, like what happened in your mind next? I had built or was building a uh, gravity feed cooker and, uh, my brother-in-law was kind of getting, getting into cooking a little bit, um, talking about building a cooker and, and, uh, Frank had been calling me here and there and man you ought to come down you know i've been to kansas city a couple times you should come down i said i said oh man i said i said i got a beat up old 1980 something <laughs> ford with you know with the old diesel motor four speed transmission and i was like i'm not sure it's going to make it to the corner and uh, so my brother-in-law said man i'll drive down and so we loaded up one saturday morning drove down Got to the shop and a guy named Joe Dixon showed up at the shop. He was he was building a cooker. Had actually talked to us on one of the forums. Hung out with Brian. You know, looked around. We got back home, and uh, Brian's like, "Man, I want to build a smoker." And so we cut up a bunch of metal, hauled it back down here another trip, and uh, you know, bent it up, welded it up. Brian, uh, man, if he listened to this, he. Uh, <laughs> I told him, I said, man, you need to make that thing two inches taller. I said, you're going to hit your head on it. And, uh, <laughs> the pellet cooker, you're the saying. The pellet cooker. Because, you know, we're working on the thing, and you got to lean inside to work on it. Oh, I remember and, uh, this. And I said, man, you need, just needs to be two inches taller. And he goes, no, it's perfect. And I said, man, if you don't, I said, one of these days, you are going to skid your lid right on the top edge there. <laughs> and it wasn't three minutes. And he let out a squeal. And I look up, there's blood running down his forehead. Oh. And it just looked like a, somebody took a big old razor blade, you know, shaving his head. And he's <laughs> about half bald anyways. But it just skinned the, peeled the hide right off the one layer of hide off the top of his head. It bled real bad. And uh, the cooker never got made any taller. We, <laughs> we took it home, we got it painted, and and, uh, and he's still cooking on it today. Right, yeah, he's, he does. It looks just like the day it rolled out. Looks just like a car off the car lot. It's fancy paint. But that weekend, I, I seen those pictures not long ago um, where we were bending up in the in the break. We were bending up Brian's cooker. And then, uh, you know, Joe was there and your son was there. Right. And then Brian's little boy. Man, we had a we had a big crew. That's one of the biggest weekends we ever had at HQ with people just hanging out. And, I think Mike Kelly was there. Yeah, Mike Kelly was there, Forrester. Uh, matter of fact, I think Forrester oh. might have been working on Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> that, that was the weekend. That's his cooker. <laughs> that, that was the weekend. Forrester had just a small piece of metal. He laid it on a pallet, and the pallet had cardboard on it. 
And uh, if you, if y'all don't know, plasma doesn't care what it cuts as long as it has a conductive surface. Um, so there's cardboard under his piece of steel, and boy, he's just cutting real nice and slow, <laughs> making a pretty line. And this smoke is looks like somebody lit five smoke bombs off right underneath him, <laughs> and he's he's looking around while he's cutting. And it's just like, where's all this smoke coming from? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I do remember that. But, uh, yeah, that was quite a weekend. I, I remember that. Let's see if we can fit another question in here. Um, I know which one here. Oh, he's digging deep. All right. So, on a more serious note, our brother Lyle, MP4, on the forum, he wants oh, to know. Man. I have to ask this question because he made me <laughs> he made me say I would. Okay, you ready? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll with Tootsie Pop? And then I won't tell you what he said <laughs> yet. Well, I'm pretty impatient. Um, hard candies usually get bit and chewed up. And it's, it's a wonder I don't have any broke teeth yet. So you're like the owl. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> he says, we got to know if he's smarter than the owl that says no one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, okay. don't, I don't know how many it takes. <laughs> All right, so I asked Lyle. There you go, brother. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. One more. Um, let me pick one here. Okay, let's talk about this one. What was your first build? First build I built? Yeah. Or built associated with Smoker Builders? Just your first build. Very first build was two 55-gallon barrels. The first one turned out great. It, it cooked a lot of amazing food. Um, it got sold pretty quick. I don't even remember who to. Um, the second was a 55 gallon on its side. It had a 30 gallon barrel vertical. Both were insulated. I took two barrels, peeled them apart. Oh my goodness. Put it together. And man, that thing, that thing cooked with the best of them. Huh? Um, gave it to a buddy at work and, uh, he painted, uh, the, uh, K-State chicken hawks on it. Hmm. And, uh, somebody stole it out of the backyard. Oh, man. Yep, it was gone. Those guys. Oh, well. Well, hey, guys, that's a little insight into Tom's uh, engagement with Smoker Builder, kind of where it all started and stuff like that. Hey, I just want to let you know, be watching here pretty soon. We have a thing called Pit Builder Secrets. Oh, my goodness. Right? Get ready, because one day, we don't know exactly when, but we do know one day that podcast is going to go live, and I can't, I cannot wait for that to happen. That's going to be a deep technical dive on uh, anything you need to know about anything building a pit whether it be you know calculations or uh, what kind of materials to use raw materials welding fabrication stuff cutting metal anything you need to know about it um, you know stay tuned because that's going to be real fun and uh, you know a little bit of what you heard here is is pretty near and dear to us we we remember this stuff because you know we lived it but you know you can have the same journey as us uh, what we would like to do is invite you along the way. Um, go on over to smokerplans.com. That's www.smokerplans.com. Claim a free set of plans. Yeah, you got it. Free. What we're doing is we have been selling these plans since about 2010. And these smoker plans aren't just like some scribbled up drawing. I mean, these are technical drawings and they're built from the hobbyist's perspective. So they're really easy to read, really easy to understand and uh, you know these drawings usually sell for $79 so uh, we're gonna give you a set for free all you got to do is pay them a very very small $12.95 shipping and handling fee and uh, we're gonna send them out to you oh and hey by the way we can ship those international so hey anyway join in the community get in there and build your first pit Tom and I both want to see it ain't that right absolutely yep build a legacy with us smokerbuilder.com see you guys